and my name is Joanna Couch. I am the Soap Gal. Last week we talked about manufacturing. Today we're going to dive right into wholesale. What is wholesale? How to wholesale? Where to wholesale? So let's just get right started. So this is my brand, um, Vintage Suds Soapery, and this is the bar that we wholesale. So this is the bar that I'm going to talk about today. So we are going to do some math. So before you can retail, you really got to know what your wholesale is going to be so you know what your retail price is going to be. So it's kind of backwards of what most people do, but this is what you really should do, or this is what I found out that I'm going to do. So everything that I'm seeing is just my opinion. Um, I know that there's a lot of opinions when it comes to this subject, but this is how I run my business and this is what I do. So we're going to dive right in. I'm being completely transparent. These are my costs. So I purchase everything in bulk in drums in large volume. So that's how I'm able to get these prices. That really is the secret of how to get lower prices is by purchasing more. Who knew? Okay. So um, for a wholesale bar soap, and we're talking about this detoxifying wholesale bar. So this is one of my lar um, one of my more expensive um, soaps because of the essential oils that's in this bar and the goat's milk. So for this bar, we have our wholesale. So our material cost is about 20 cents an ounce. Well, it is 20 cents an ounce. Um, this is going to be a four ounce bar, so that's 80 cents. Our packaging, our box, which comes from um, Botany Soaps is 20 cents. This label right here is another 20 cents, so we're at 40 cents. So to make this bar of soap is $1.20, okay? So the labor is going to be 50% of that. How did I figure out my labor rate? Right? right here. So for 300 bars, which that's a block of soap, it takes me 30 minutes to master batch the oils, another 30 minutes to make my lye solution, um, 20 minutes to line a mold, um, 10 minutes to cut it into logs, another hour to cut those logs into bars to put on the curing rack, and then another two hours to wrap those bars into to look this beautiful okay so once you do all the math you're at about five hours of labor to so that's 300 minutes so that's about a minute a bar so once you have that was that 60 cents because i wanted to be at 36 dollars an hour so why did i come up with 36 dollars an hour because i want to be able to hire you know two employees to be able to do this for me so I got to think ahead of where you want to grow. So it's at $36 an hour, my overhead. So the shop, so I have my rent, I have my utilities, I have my insurance. Thank you, you know, for the Soper's Guild for insurance. They are amazing. If you don't have insurance through the Soper's Guild, why don't you? You need to get insurance through the Soper's Guild. But that I have all of that as my overhead. So for my overhead is about $1,500 a month. So I take those bars and I do, I, I do about 5,000 bars a month average. In the holiday season, of course, it's more. But average, it's 5,000 bars a month. You divide that, so it's about 25% so, or 30 cents. So my bar of soap comes to $2.10. So that's like, that's the lowest I can sell it. So, you know, big box stores, you know, they're gonna want a right around there at um, for this bar of soap. So I know I'm able to sell to a big box store because I'm at $2.10. In the market, you're gonna realize you're gonna need sales reps. If you're gonna have a sales rep, the minimum that they're gonna want is 15%. So put that right into your cost before you even get started. So 15% is another 31 cents. Okay, so now you're at $2.41 is your bare bones that you can do it. But you also got your cost of your booths that are going to be going to these markets. And the average booth is at, you know, $20 a square foot. So the national markets or the shows that you can go to is Las Vegas market, Atlanta market, Dallas market, New York gift show, plus there's plenty others. And I will put down below um, some links of where you can find trade shows. Um, so you can sell your product nationally or globally. So, um, but you got that right there in it, but you also got the cost of your packaging materials of once, you know, you sell it, you got to be able to buy that box and all the bubble wrap and peanuts and all that stuff. So you got those costs. So if after you do all that, you know, you can add another dollar for miscellaneous. So now you're at 
you know, $3.41. Okay? So you know your bare bones is $3.41. Now your bar is $3.41 because of this miscellaneous. And there's so many things that you can put into that miscellaneous area. You got, you know, your shipping, if you want to offer free shipping, or, you know, your display that it's going to take for you to do it, or your line sheets, or your order forms. I mean, it just can go on and on of all the different stuff you can have in your miscellaneous area. So now that you know that your bar of soap is bare bones at $3.41, round that up to $3.50. So now you know you have to be able to retail this bar for $7 is like your bare bones of what the retail price is gonna be for your soap. So now that you know your retail price um, now that and your wholesale price, now you're gonna feel more comfortable. Okay, this is where I'm at. I have everything covered. And now you know how to go to your next level, which is retail. But before you can even think of retail, you really gotta make sure that your product is consistent, that your packaging is consistent, your website is consistent, your whole brand is consistent, you got your recipes down. And once you have all of that consistency in order, now you feel like, okay, I can wholesale this, I can retail this product. And it's just so empowering as a business owner to know that you sellable products, you got to think of, okay, I'm going to be wholesaling. So that means I'm going to be giving them this product at 50 to 60% off of retail price. So you have to make that worth your effort for them. So you're going to have to be able to have your minimum. So how many bars of soap do you want them to purchase in this scent in order to be able to get that huge discount of 50% or 60% off. So you got to think of your minimums. You also got to think if you're going to, um, so you have your minimum of what they have to purchase, but you also got to think of what's their order minimum. So uh, the average order minimum that in order for them to even be considered to be able to purchase this product wholesale is, you know, $150, $200. So, and then you also got to think of, okay, you got your terms and your conditions and your wholesale of what you want them to be able to do. So for example, my terms and conditions is if you're going to be a wholesale of my brand then you're going to be have to purchase consistently within a year if I don't get an order from you within a year you're no longer a person that I'm telling people that they can purchase my brand at that store because I want to, when I tell someone you can buy your pro my product at this store I want my product to really be in that store so what happens so much is you get all these people who all these wonderful stores and um, store owners saying okay I'm gonna sell your product and they buy you you know they do your minimum they purchase your product and then you don't hear from them for three months six months a year and then you can't these people go to your website they're like oh I can get my product there they go there your products not there so you want to make sure that your products always in these stores um, so you can always offer like specials and say hey I you haven't purchased for a while here's a 10% discount or free shipping I mean there's so many different ways you can go about to keep your wholesalers as wholesalers um so after you have your line sheet and you have your brand and everything's in order and you feel comfortable the first place that i would suggest for you to go to and wholesale is in your neighborhood is in your community because your community is going to want to support local so have samples walk into their store and say hey my name is da da da, -da and i own da 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 business and i wanted to give you a sample and let you know who i am so please here's a bar of my soap please enjoy it and i will get back with you in a couple weeks and then really get back with them in a couple weeks and say hey how did you like my bar of soap and they're gonna say i love it it was a amazing look at my skin and you're gonna say okay my minimum order is this and da 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 and da 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 and guess what you got your first wholesale order so I hope that helped you today and tomorrow or sorry next Sunday we are going to talk about retailing and what does it really mean for you to retail your bar of soap looking forward to seeing you on Wednesday on make it Wednesday and next Sunday thank you so much God bless Mwah.